How you doing? www.andrewmarkmusic.com on what I call a new global common civilization. <clears throat> These are my ideas based on thinking about the current issues and complexity surrounding civilization, economy, and the environment, the planet today. Um, I, my own feeling is that around 2 billion people, 1950, the capitalist system in its present form reached its natural limits to what would be uh, healthy for the earth. <clears throat> this is just my opinion. I believe I'm right about it, but I'm open to people arguing against that uh, idea. Uh, over the last 150 years, we have Adam Smith's Bible of Economy, The Wealth of Nations, uh, in conflict with Karl Marx's uh, philosophies on communism. I'm personally sick to death of it. I'm sick of the dichotomy. Um, it's to my to my uh, thought process. It's all 1850 thinking. You know, uh, to to dream up these ideas in 1850, I just don't think they have any relevance today. I mean, th these people lived when there's less than a billion people on the planet. And uh, it looked at the time like, you know, the universe was wide open as far as resources and, and potential. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just not seeing the relevance uh, to the degree that it's still given credence uh, within uh, society today. I believe we need new thinking, uh, a new plan, and this is what this goes to. <clears throat> now, the, the basic premise of my idea is to give as many people as much choice as possible. Now, you know, that this, this is a, an important ethic, you know, that we try and, and, and allow people their freedom of choice as much as possible. Now, we can't do it 100%, but we could try to implement it. And in this context, it means that we need a new capitalist system where only 2 billion people participate. And juxtaposed to that, we would have the global common civilization where most of the people on the planet would agree to live uh, in a, a sustainable way, um, reflecting the, the new issues of the 21st century that we now know are indisputable. Uh, climate change, pollution, limits to growth, population explosions. Um, so what I'm saying within this uh, civilization, there are four pillars. Now, the four pillars are homes, food, health care, and education, not necessarily in that order. And they're premised on the ideas, the ideas of Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs. So what I'm suggesting is to take off those four areas from the capitalist exploitation and coercion, all right? Um, and, and socialize them en masse. And the only way we could do that is to have a new currency that was a socialized currency um, where everybody got 24,000, you know, Bitcoin, dollars, whatever we want to call it, but it, it would give a good standard of living um, for most people everywhere. Even if you're in big cities right now, under this system, you could still live because the, the speculations on homes would end. Um, everybody would be allowed to have one home, one hotel, Whatever, you can have one of them, whatever your merit, honest, hard work um, uh, provides you, you can have one, home. Uh, the, the Being able to feed people is a basic need, and it needs to come off of the capitalist exploitation and coercion system. Uh, this is, has to do with resources. Um, within this culture, uh, People would be volunteering to give up polluting um, uh, means of transportation in exchange for the currency. 
Um, and they would be part of the education system would be to teach people to to grow their own food again, to reconnect people with ways of living uh, like we used to live not that long ago. So uh, I think this is vitally important. I think the health care needs to go back to caring for the health of human beings instead of a perf- for-profit system. And, you know, five, six, seven billion people could live like this in a sustainable way in a steady state economy, uh, you know, uh, underpinned by the currency. Um, and and I, I think, you know, this to me, it, it it's a way forward. It's a compromise. Now, in the capitalist system, those four areas are taken off. So that system becomes more of a way for entrepreneurs to do other things that are more important, like, you know, solving, you know, very complex, intractable problems. That's where capitalism could really do well in those areas. You know, instead of having people paying 30% interest when they make $10,000, this is just predatory. This is, this, this is, this is sick. You know, that all has to end. Um, the, the, a new way of living where there's a compromise, where the, where if you're a capitalist and you're a free marketer, yes, you get to practice that. You get to practice your free market capitalism within those boundaries and you have to compromise to it and, and, and agree to it and say, yes, this, this makes sense, you know, and, um, am I saying it, it's going to be easy to do this? No. Um, there's a lot of people here that have won in the current casino. And they're going to be resistant to to this kind of change because they wouldn't want to give up, um, you know, the the wealth that they've earned within the casino system. Um, so anyway, that's just a brief overview. The four pillars uh, of the global common civilization, a compromise between um, capitalism and old old school communism um i i think i'll just just introduce this idea at this point and leave it at that i'll, I'll i can expound on it uh, uh in further videos and oh yes behind me yes the the female uh archetypes positive and negative <clears throat> And, uh, yes, www.andrewmarkmusic.com on towards a global common civilization. Peace, peace out, peace the fuck out.